Have you ever gone to scan something with NFC using your smartphone only to have it display a connection error? This results in you having to tap the phone to that object multiple times in an attempt to process. But for most of us, this is actually due to a distance issue and NFC release 15 is said to resolve that later on this year. So let's go over how NFC works now and what will be changing in this newly announced update. The biggest change happening with NFC release 15 is the extended range. The current NFC standards has terminals and phones operating at no more than 0.5 centimeter. Some have been able to expand this to the new max of two centimeters, but that standard hasn't been implemented yet. So you may get a different experience from one terminal compared to another that has enabled this. But we're talking about quadrupling the standard operating distance just from this update alone. That's going to enhance reliability and improve the user experience across all devices. But we're told that this will be highly evident with those who are using a smartwatch or a fitness tracker to scan an NFC tag. The new update also brings a feature that will allow your phone to become a payment terminal instead of needing to plug in some scanner to the USB port here at the bottom, NFC release 15 devices will have that built right in. I'm reading that this update will also bolster support for digital product passports, AKA DPP. And a digital product passport is an initiative that allows you to scan a particular product and learn about its life cycle and sustainability credentials. Anyone who uses an NFC based wireless charger will also notice that their phone is connecting to and maintaining a charge from those pads more easily. That way, you know the phone isn't going to stop charging just because you left the room and the phone slid a millimeter or two from its original position. And one of the last benefits from NFC release 15 is its advancements in digital keys and access controls in general. But that seems to be more about the increased range and improved user experience as a result, more than new features that have been added. As of recording this video, we have not been told when NFC release 15 will find its way into the hands of your average customer. We have learned that there are some terminals taking advantage of the two centimeter range extension and that current higher up members of the NFC forum already have access to this new spec. This includes Apple, Google, Huawei, NXP semiconductors, Sony, Samsung, and more. We also don't know if current NFC devices will automatically be updated to this new release. It's possible that only NFC devices sold after a certain date will have enough capacity to support these new features, but we also may end up seeing some companies forcing us to buy new devices just to gain access to all of these NFC release 15 benefits. So for now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. The official certification process will begin later on this year, and I suspect that will be when we hear more about this new update. But I would like to learn what all of you think about these new changes down in the video description below. I would be curious to learn how many of you are using NFC throughout the day, whether it's by paying for products using your phone or scanning personal NFC tags to trigger things around your home. If you could, please remember to give this video a like 
as it really helps to keep me motivated here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel either if you haven't done so already.